hello hello darlings um i just finished filming my a thrift haul and i was like uh -huh, might as well film another video just change your outfit real quick i thought i'd talk about skincare in this video and specifically how i cleared my acne now i don't perfect skin I still get some pimples here and there but my skin has improved so much like oh my gosh if you've known me for a long time dang it's it's been a long journey for me and so I thought I'd share my my methods with you um, this is about um, I would say getting rid of acne not acne scars um, I haven't been able to successfully do all that yet but I have been able to clear my face I don't really get uh, big pimples only like once in a while if it's that time of the month or stress or falling asleep with your makeup on which to be honest I I've probably only done that like two or three times in my entire life because I can't fall I <laughs> Falling asleep with makeup on, I don't think I could really fall asleep with makeup on. Would, I would just know and my skin is just like, bleh. Um, I thought I'd share with you what I did to clear my acne. I might insert an old picture um, of how, my ac how bad my acne used to be, if I'm comfortable. <laughs> and um, so you can see a very drastic change. So I have very acne prone skin and part of it is genetics because you know it has been passed down a bit that we have acne prone skin. I have tried so many things. I have gone to dermatologists, I've tried like proactive, um, so many different kinds of face washes, so many creams, serums, oh focus. I've had prescriptions, uh, topical prescriptions, um, I've, I've, I've face masks, peels, I've tried so many things. I've invested so much money on just skincare trying to get rid of acne. And I mean, I'm 20 now and I, I always just said, you know, it'll just go away when I get older. I wouldn't say I'm too old, I'm, just, I'm only 20. So I do think that if you are a teen, it might work for you. Talk about my skin a little bit. I have combination to oily skin. Rarely does it ever get dry. Only the only time it would get dry is if I like exfoliate, exfoliate, or I use a, a certain face wash that's pretty strong, and that would dry up my face. So, but on a regular basis, I have oily skin. To be honest, like I go out about in a day. Um, if I'm at school the entire day. I'm, I get shiny. This is a very famous um, skincare routine um, in the social media and it is the 10 step Korean skincare routine. That is what I do with kind of twists on it and stuff like that. Um, it is very uh, extra but it is very beneficial. The first thing is to cleanse and you double cleanse. What I mean by double cleanse is cleanse your face twice using different methods. So uh, you would use a, uh, in my case, an oil cleanser. This is from the face shop. This is the, the, the Rice Water Bright Light Cleansing Oil. And so what this does is, um, I, and, I, and I do this in the shower because I just wanted, I do everything in the shower. I don't like standing by the sink and then trying to wash my face and then water drips down my arms and down my elbows and it gets all over the place. So I do everything in the shower, but so for an, um, an oil cleanser, what you would do is you would pump oil, the oil into your hands, rub it, and then rub it on your face. And what it does is it melts away your makeup. Some people, they don't like the feeling. It's like the icky feeling, oh, I'm putting oil on my face. You can use, uh, like, instead you could use micellar water or makeup remover wipes. But the good thing about the oil, I think, personally, is that it's more gentle. Whenever I use makeup wipes or micellar water where I would have a cotton pad in micellar water and I would try and rub my makeup off, um, my face would get really red and I have to, maybe because I just wear a lot of foundation or I don't think I even wear that much foundation, but I would have to 
like wipe away pretty hard to get it all off and my face would be red and irritated so I like that the oil is gentle and literally when you're rubbing it on your face you take your hands out and you see all your foundation in liquid form all over your hands and so I would wash my hands and the oil is still on my face and once my hands are wet then I do it again and what it does to the oil it starts to turn into this milky form and then you just wash it off and then that's like okay you got your makeup off and then right after that I use a, a foam cleanser and again I like foam cleansers because it's gentle and this doesn't have any like beads or anything it doesn't exfoliate anything like that this is in pairing with the oil cleanser they're both from the rice water bright collection if you buy them separately they're like seven dollars each but I just buy them in a set and they come together and it's cheaper that way but I do run out of the oil cleanser faster than this so occasionally I have to buy this separately and I'm already running out like look at that just a dime size um, little squirt and uh, I would rub it in my hands I would rub it for a few seconds to the point where it's all foamy and all pretty it starts to lather pretty pretty thick and then I would put it on my face so for cheeks you would swipe out this way for the nose you swipe down so you, you just want to I guess drag things out really it's like I think it's like where wherever the hairs of your pores faces like if it faces outwards that's the direction you want to go because I guess you want to pull stuff out of the pores I don't know don't quote me on that that's just my that's what I think and then for the forehead I go up like this and then the chin I go down so that that and that that's just what I've been doing after that step three is exfoliate um now I don't do this every single day but I do it probably every other day and I just use the St. Ives traditional St. Ives this is this is Mitchell's and it's the only one we have in the house so I was like okay and it does the job this is the apricot scrub the blemish and blackhead control exfoliates to prevent blemishes and cleans pores and it has salicylic acid acne medication so it's good for acne prone skin I really feel like it is definitely scraping off the nasty stuff off my skin and I think the good thing about that is is that it preps your skin for whatever product you're gonna put on it next which leads me to the next thing so um, whenever I'm feeling I have enough time and I feel like doing a little bit of a pamper the next thing I do is this uh, self heating green tea mask this is just the Walgreens brand the studio 35 beauty brand oh my goodness this this is my holy grail <laughs> I think it, it's super cheap and um, so what it is it's like a gel I put the gel all over my face and it's you're it's gonna start heating up it's like a not to the point where it's burning but it heats up and it's uh, I it's just self-heating so it just heats up a bit it's like kind of warm on the skin and you can really feel it just like it has green tea extract in it so you can really feel it just like everything out you know and then it puts in the good whatever there is <laughs> put it on for 10 to 15 minutes there was a time when I first got this I would do it every single morning and night for about five minutes I would do this before I put on my makeup and it would just make my skin so like when I wash it off my skin is so smooth soft and supple one con about it I mean is just that it's like a gel so you just look like you have really really oily skin when you put it on but I mean it's a mask so you just wash it off and I feel like this really helps with my acne. If I had pimples, it would just um, bring it down. It helps with like irritation, redness, stuff like that. And I just, it just makes my skin feel so good, soft and supple and smooth. And it's, it's, and you touch it and it's just like it's bouncy. You know, you, you look more youthful as well. If I don't do that, the next step, because I'm not sure if I've ever done a face mask and then this, but the next step is toning. This is a very important step because this also preps your skin for whatever stuff you're going to put onto it next and this is the Dickinson's original witch hazel pore perfecting toner this one is fragrance free and it's gentle 
and it's 100% all natural formula. You can just get this at uh, the regular drugstore. What this does is that it tones your pores, it removes and balances oils, smooths, soothes and refreshes and helps depuff. So after I'm done cleansing and stuff like that, I would take a, a cotton pad, pour this on, and then I would gently wipe it on. And sometimes I would just even just pour it on my hands, go like this, and just pat it on. It does take off any of that excess makeup that didn't get washed off. Maybe like over here that I missed, and I would just, oh, I see a little bit there. Got it off now. Um, another good brand I've never tried, but I've heard really good things about is this other witch hazel brand. Um, it's got like it's clear and it's got like a red cap. I'll insert a photo here. And I heard that the rose hip one is a really good one too. So tone, right after I tone, that's when you want to put in your essences or your serum. Serum. So this one is from Cause RX. This is the Advanced Snail 96 Mousse and Power Essence. And man, I've had this for a couple months now. And I mean, this lasts so long. I've only used that much. I still have like this much left. Some people aren't comfortable with snail, but I'm pretty, I've heard it has so much benefits for you. And it says that this essence protects the skin from moisture loss while keeping the skin texture smooth and healthy. It is very, uh, kind of like a slimy, gooey texture. You only need one pump. Sometimes you do one, sometimes you do two. Rub it on my hands. And when I do this, it does have that little string of stickiness, like cheese. And once, once that separates, then I go like this. And then, um, so I wipe it all around my face and then I tap it so my skin sucks it in or it absorbs into my skin. And then right after that is a serum. And the serum that I use, and I highly recommend um, this type of serums, it's a vitamin C serum. I'm not sure exactly what the benefits of it are, but I got this from Thailand, but they have vitamin C serums all over the place now these days. And I, what I think this is good for is for brightening and fading scars. I've used this for years now. And when I was in high school and I was using this, um, I remember I had this, focus, I had this huge pimple. It was inflamed, it was just, it was just nasty and it was huge. We call it a elephant head pimple in Thailand. And so I was like, oh, I hate this. It has to be gone before I go to school tomorrow. So I pop it. And I'm just like, oh my god, it was so red and sore. And I was like, this is gonna leave a huge scar. And I was just like, oh, I just screwed myself over. <laughs> but I put this on. I, I put a pretty thick layer on top of it. I put it, I already put it all over my face, but I put a pretty thick layer of this vitamin C serum on top of that freshly popped pimple. And then I went to bed. I woke up the next morning. I was like, where did my pimple go? What? It was completely gone. And that was only one time. After that, it's, it's, it's not really a miracle worker, but that one time it was a miracle worker. It like closed up that pore so fast overnight and I, I didn't get a scar from it. And I was like, whoa, I am never gonna stop using vitamin C serum. So very good for the skin. Right after that, I recommend you to use um, eye cream. And you know, I feel like this is very important actually because I think it helps with, uh, it does help with, it's an anti-aging thing and I mean, still pretty young but it's never too early to do it, right? So what I like about this, I use the, just a regular Walgreens brand Studio 35 Beauty. This is the Revitalizing Firming Eye Cream Anti-Wrinkle Formula. Looks like this. This lasts a pretty long time. Um, I have about that much left. There you go. So that's how much I have left. I've had this for about three or four months now. And I've used like three-fourths of it. And so I would put this on at nighttime before I go to bed. I would just pop it on here and here. Sometimes I'm, I have extra on my fingers and I bring it down here and here, wherever I think there would be wrinkles. <laughs> what it does is that when I wake up in the morning, I don't really have um, eye bags, you know, dark circles. And it does help with depuffing. In between, 
in between the essence and the serum right in between here um, you could do a facial mask and it's those sheet masks that you just put on your face these face masks are from the face shop my lovely friend Cassie sent them to me and I store these in the fridge and so I just they're really cold I just got them out of the fridge um, and so you would just put these sheet masks on leave it on for 10 to 15 sometimes 20 minutes don't leave it on longer than that <laughs> there's a bunch of good serums all the good stuff are soaked in these sheet masks and so you leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes and let your skin soak up all that good serum and once that is done then you can top it off with your vitamin C serum or whatever serum you choose to use whatever um, when you whatever you're trying to pinpoint for your skin problems then you finish it off with uh, moisturizer and eye cream which I forgot to mention moisturizer but to be honest I don't moisturize that much because I have oily skin but I mean once I've done this skincare I don't really have oily skin anymore it's like a good balance but when I do use um, moisturizer rare occasions I use the Nature Republic aloe vera just simple aloe vera gel Put that on it's very calming and soothing this is really good when you've been out in the sun a lot too sometimes i do like to finish off with a little mist i make this mist myself this is rose water mist and the ingredients is just water um i have this pure and natural rose water bulgarian toning floral water <laughs> so that thing and i just put a few drops of that in here and some witch hazel shake it up and i just I would spray it um, whenever I'm done doing my makeup before I go to sleep I spray it just to refresh myself throughout the day and it smells like roses and it's just so luxurious feeling <laughs> in terms of some other stuff that I've used I mean I've tried so many things but one thing that I like to do once in a while maybe a few times a month or once a week two times a week depends on really if I feel like I need a deep pore cleanse this is pretty new to my collection but I do like it it's the Aztec secret Indian healing clay this right here now this went famous went viral <laughs> on social media because it just had so much good reviews and it's 100% natural calcium bentonite clay and it as it advertises it says feel your face pulsate and really you feel your face pulsate it becomes so tight it's like a mud mask it's it's um so i don't know if you can see but that's what it looks like it's just powder inside and you mix it with water or apple cider vinegar to the point where i don't con about this is that it is so hard to mix for me it just becomes clumpy but i do the best that i can and i put it on my face as a mud mask or a clay mask and it would harden i leave that on for like 10 minutes I don't really go over that and then I wash it off and then my face gets dry so you need a moisturizer for that but you really feel like it's sucked all the impurities out um, a good face wash that I've used um, but this is a, the humane acne wash right here this is a little bit pricey I think this is like a 23 or 24 dollar face wash that I got off Amazon um, it's a benzoyl it has benzoyl peroxide 10% of that if you do have evident acne on your face I think this is pretty good but because I don't really have any acne at the moment I I don't really go for this but if I do have an acne then I'll use this but I wouldn't use it every day because it is kind of harsh because it does have benzoyl peroxide in it I do have a pimple popping kit you know what I used it twice never use it again because I just don't know how but I mean if you know how this is a pretty good kit oops it comes with like everything I don't know what is for what but I do know that one of the, the pokey thing is for stabbing yourself and another type of cleanser that you could use is a cleansing balm now I don't use this every single day but this is from the botanics collection that's the brand and this is the 97% organic hot cloth cleansing balm with rose hip in it and so it's very organic very herby sorry you can see like my finger swatches there and I do this when I've already taken off my makeup I would just scoop some up 
put it on my face, rub it, give my face a good massage. And when I'm done, I would take a cloth. It says to use a hot cloth. I like to use a cold cloth, but a hot cloth is good too. Put it under hot water or cold water and I would just wipe it off. And it, it just feels so soothing to the skin. And it leaves your skin very smooth and very, um, I don't want to say greasy, but it does leave a bit of a residue, but it's like a good kind of residue. So that is what I do. I would say also drink a lot of water. I don't drink a lot of water. That's probably why my skin isn't pretty good. But it does help when you drink a lot of water. Now, if you give this routine a shot, it is an investment because of all these products. But to be honest, I feel like you will definitely see results within like... I would say a week, but I will, I'm more confident saying a week and a half or two weeks and you would definitely see a difference in your skin. And um, yeah, so that's just what I've done to clear my acne and now I have a pretty okay face now. Anyways, so I just thought I'd share that with you guys. Maybe you guys will try it. And if you do, let me know, and I want to see if it does some miracle work on you guys too. So thank you for watching. If you want to see more stuff like this, um, make sure you comment, like, subscribe, join the fam, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.